Hello, students. Mr. Coop here in the wood shop. Um, I've been missing you guys. <laughs> and I still can't come back as long as I test positive. I am feeling a bit better. And so I don't know whether I'll be there Wednesday or Thursday. So you may be watching this video because I created a little project for you to finish out the year. Okay, so we got five pieces. We got two narrower ones, two wider ones, and one small square. All right. So, okay, so you want to start out by learning how to lay it out. So, we are going to do your two narrow blocks on the sides. Sorry. Right? And then you will have the wider blocks creating the box on the outside like that. Okay? So, to start, we want to create this. All right. To do that, we're going to have to nail one of these onto the bottom. And what I would do is actually set one on top of the large block and begin by setting the nails. So setting the nails, you guys may remember, is starting to tap them in, keeping it straight. So setting two nails. Not coming through yet, but in the right location. Now, um, what you can do to just make this a little easier is set two of your blocks like this, and then it gives you, or actually, three blocks. And look, it gives you a little bit of a platform for nailing in this. So you want to make sure you're holding it and you're checking for flush. Sorry flush here and flush on either side and when you know you're flush you can go ahead and hammer those nails the rest of the way in this is probably going to be uh, for a lot of you guys your third project grade which it's a small project but I'm letting it fly since we had a week where I was missing um, so I want you to do it nice, I want you to do it well, I want you to hit the nails so that they're flush and that you're using the hammer flat so that, or so it's hitting flat so you don't have big dents on your pieces. These finish hammers have a nice smooth face, your pieces should look nice and smooth. Okay, they shouldn't be sticking out all kinds, they should be flush to the wood. All right, so we got two in right there. Now we have an L shape. We need to make it into a U shape by putting this one on there. So same process, set two nails and then put it in. Okay, so you should start out by making this U shape. Then we'll flip it <coughs> onto its face and we will add the outside pieces, four nails, there we go, we're one side away, and after we've got four nails in that, we will flip it over again, and add four nails here. Now in each of these situations, keeping it really nice and flush as we nail, Okay, and I'm trying to make it so that <clears throat> it all fits together excellent. The box is complete, but needs some sanding. So I will have sandpaper available for you, and I want you to either do a chamfer, which is the 45 degree angle with the sanding block, or a roundover where you 
ease the edge all the way around on uh, the four outside corners. Now you don't have to do the insides of all these necessarily, but I want you to have sanded it well. It might be nice to also do the detail on the bottom edge. So there's your project. Um, I'm expecting that you will complete this on Wednesday or Thursday. And if you need some extra time on Friday, that can work as well. Enjoy and sand this really nice. I want this to be an excellent um, uh, product at the end.